Okay, so na nasa da. Maghatag na po kog labad sa inyong ulo. <laughs> Nagklase na po ta. So, ato lang ipagi o video ang atong klase. Kay para makasave sa time nako na og ninyo nga naman kung tahay mahuman mo tanaw sa video tapos na mo ikalibugan pwede ra ninyo i-replay di ba so i think it's it's a win-win situation for you and for me for me since duha akong klase um, one preparation mahatag na ko sa inyo and to the other class so our next lesson so this would be lesson 5 okay uh, Conics, pre-calculus dah ni, pre-calculus. Betul tak tu pre-calculus? Pre-cal, pre-calan, pre-cal. Okay, so pre-cal atau ang subject, dah yon. Ah, lesson this would be lesson five. Okay, lesson five, conics. Atau santanan kau nak record nabi? Yes, na record na record. Kaya basi mag ratag buang ba? So conics. Conics at large. Posi directrices and eccentricity. Okay, so directrices. Posi, directrices, and eccentricity. Makita ba? Yes, kita lah. Okay. So, let us remember. No, let us remember before lesson three, four, ah two, three, and four, we discuss about parabola, ellipses. And as well as hyperbola. So, if we try to remember um, their formula, let's start with parabola. Okay. Um, with a vertex, with a vertex at h k. Okay. Diba, if we remember parabola, uh, parabola. Uh, the H and K is not the center, but that would be the vertex, de ba? So the formula is the quantity of x, x minus H that being powered by two. Uh, maybe I should I can put that this one to the kan lang. Uh, ko lang type sa kan para dili mo maglibo no? Okay, so let's start with the parabola formula. Parabola. Okay. Parabola formula with cent H K with vertex rather with vertex H K. Okay, this would be the formula. Mm. X minus H that we import by 2 equal to 4C. Or somehow in other book they are using P and we using C, diba? The C is the, the, the distance from vertex to foci multiplied to the quantity of Y minus K. Okay? So that would be the the first um, standard form formula in in which c k I mean c h I'm sorry c x ang naka square. Kung si y po ang naka square, this would be like this y minus k that being powered by two uh, for c uh, y minus uh, x minus h, de ba? So that would be our formula for parabola. While if we go on ellipse, if you remember ellipse, itong i recall para with the center, center na instead using vertex, di ba? Vertex is for parabola man kay. If we try to locate the U shape, 
the h and k there is the vertex of the parabola here in ellipse as well as on the the hyperbola h and k would be the center diba? so h and k mm -hmm. this would be the formula uh, x minus h that mean power by 2 uh, let me write this one into kuan Okay. Let me write this one into in equation for or in in this form para mas maklaro. You can see it later. X minus h. Okay. No no no. squared squared now plus and let's have fraction form again yes y minus k y minus k ok here in the denominator part this should be b squared and that will be equal to 1 right okay so this would be the first ah, to ipakita so this would be the first um, formula standard form formula since we have two um, standard form formula for parabola, ellipse and hyperbola so <clears throat> let's have the next one let's copy and paste then let's change it a bit here okay. Okay. okay as you can see Ang na otrora is the the, the formatting, di ba? Uh, as we can remember, kung nakahinom dum pa mo ani, si a square o si b square, should I say a square, is pwede siya ibalhin balhin. Depende sa na never uh, pwede raman po na nga kanuna irang x minus h ang so good. It doesn't matter. Kay plus mana. Now, ang ato lang gibutang dere is tanawa si a square na siya sa permiro pero ang 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 point ani kung kinsa tong dako nga si kinsa tong dako nga denominator anha padulong si a square okay pwede ra gyud nga x minus h kanunay ang sugod si y minus k ang kanunay ikaduha pero si a square o si b square dapat imo siyang ibaylo or ibalhin or ibutang kung asa ang dako nga denominator now let's proceed to um, hyperbola hyperbola kung nakahinundo mo ang hyperbola uh, same with ellipse the h and k would be the center ok so formula let's have the formula Let's copy and paste ibabaw. Then let's change the operation. Now, instead of using plus, it's minus. Now, the other trick here, um, kanunay yod nga si a square na sa permiro. Again, Say whatever happened, a square should be on the first. Okay, kung kinsay ma timing niya sa certain denominator, for example, si um, for example, two, I mean four, a four lang, four ang nasa ang denominator sa x minus h. Um, 
dapat na jud siya under the x minus h dili siya pwede magbalhin balhin again si a square kanunay na sa first term then si b square na sa ikaduha nga term okay so those are the the things or the the formulas that we discuss uh, in regards to conic um, the three three lang dili tamo po dili lang tamo touch sa circle uh, since we are going to uh, in the nonlinear equation soon and as well as the linear equation we going to discuss that one um, today so as what I put earlier atong isuwat dere ang atong title eh. so conics Conics um, at large. So conic at large, we will be discussing foci, directrices, as well as eccentricity. So let's continue. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to give you some important um, formula, or should I say, um, description. Uh, what else? A description, description of a thing, a description of eccentricity, the the, the formula of is in on how to get eccentricity. Okay, so let's start here. This is a unified unified treatment of conics. Like it's a unified treatment of conics. So let's start here. The graph um, of any equation of the form uh, ax ax square. Ax square is the first term. If we try to put that one into general term or general form, rather, as you remember, if you remember, plus dx no it's y square um, plus c x y plus d x plus e y plus f equal to zero okay so as you can see a x square plus b y square plus c x y plus d x plus e y plus f is equal to zero that would be the general term or general form rather kung nakainom doon pa mo di ba mm. is one okay should not do that di makita is on okay, okay. is on mm -hmm. is one rather right? this should be is one is one among a parabola um an ellipse Hyperbola or a de degenerate conic. Okay, degenerate conic is wala tama ka generic o conics. Degenerate conic. Um, for example, a line. We a straight line, de ba? Dili waman tama ka create o nag waman tama create o parabola, waman tama create o ellipse, waman tama create o hyperbola. So those are things that degenerate conic. So, example, line. Yeah. Next, we have directrix. Focus to directrix. Okay. Focus to directrix property. Okay, so. Property. So, the locus of all points 
Gi discuss na muna ko unsay kanang locus of all points. Kay for example sa kanang line um, sa parabola, sa um, sa ellipse and then sa hyperbola kanang kanang linya kung imo nang butang ang tulok-tulok points sa tanan those are the locus of all points okay um, in a plane in the plane rather the ratio of whose um, distances wala wala pa sa ta ratio of whose distances from a fixed point F and a fixed line L is a constant E is here a parabola is if e equal to 1 now that would be certainly uh, wait for it here this would okay an ellipse if 0 E E one okay and lastly a hyperbola if E is greater than one okay hello wala makita okay let let me read it again for you so if you say focus to directrix guys Diba? Um, if you can visualize the from the uh, parabola, ellipse, and then um, what else? Um, hyperbola, uh, focus to directrix property. So the locus of all points in a plane, uh, the ratio of whose distances from a fixed point F and a fixed line L. Diba? If you can remember. Si vertex that, that would be the center parabola sa ta then to fo focus is the same with um, distance to the directrix diba so um, here nasa gisulti uh, fixed line L is a constant E is okay we call that one parabola if the E the E there guys is eccentricity a parabola if e is equal to 1 so kung equal to 1 then that is parabola an ellipse of uh, e is that should be greater than 0 but not uh, more than 1 or should I say it, it should be less than 1 so from 0 0.1 to 9 uh, 0 0.99 something like that and the hyperbola if e is greater than 1 so mora na ilhanan if equal to 1 ang yang eccentricity then that is a parabola if the eccentricity is in between 0 and 1 meaning that is an ellipse now if the eccentricity is greater than uh, 1 meaning that is hyperbola okay now let's start let's have eccentricity okay eccentricity Eccentricity of a conic the constant ratio E above. Okay, na na. That is the constant ratio. Okay. Next. The fixed point. Okay. F is a focus. 
of the conic the fixed line line L okay, is the directrix corresponding corresponding to the focus of Marco and lapas na punta ok buka ba na tayo so the fixed point F is a focus of a conic the fixed line L is directrix corresponding to the focus at F ok next thing that we should um, consider a parabola has one focus directrix pair ok a central conic example for this Uh, an ellipse or hyperbola has two focus directrix focus directrix pair pairs diba? bitaw okay If we say parabola, usa ra man to kay Yushi. Now, and the the the, the ellipse kay mura siya hyperbola pero instead nga pa 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 katong sa main camera na to. Okay. Instead of ang ang hyperbola is pagawas man, di ba? Paana? Paana? Now, ang 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 ellipse is pasulod. Mo nang mo mo, mo oblong siya forma. So, kung ato totoo nga on then mura siya duha ka parabola, di ba? Then, ang katopong hyperbola, mura po siya yung duha ka parabola. Diba? So, munang, munang, ang parabola lang, usa, it's a U-shape. So, munang kita po siya, pan focus directrix pair. Then, while the central conic, the ellipse, the hyperbola, those are, those are, those uh, conic has two focus directrix uh, pairs. Now, next, kanina ta sa mga formula okay if to enter this ah if to enter this ah if a C. B and C are the constants diba? in the equation of an ellipse um, or a hyperbola in standard form uh, then if you can remember those things E, A, B, and C, those are the distance, di ba? Kung nakainom doon mo. So, here, guys, if we say eccentricity, the, uh, nana siya formula. Okay. So, this would be eccentricity or E equal to C over A. Okay. That's C over A, ha? So, uh, kung hindi mong equation, eh. Like earlier... E equals to C over A. Okay. There. Now, um, if, if you can remember, um, 
this would be distance between the poci ato lang isuwat pero kay baon naman mo ane over ato lang hinong kami ay nako this would be distance between the poci while this one gets distance between the vertices okay so if you can remember C di ba the C is the distance of poci from the center to the poci di ba Okay, so next is the distance um, The distance D or uh, of a directrix Distance D of a directrix from its corresponding No, makita ba ba? Di makita Okay, kastilan Corresponding focus is given by so this would be the formula. Okay, in turn at A, then B equal um, <coughs> equation, then B square over C will be equal to Siyang point of absolute value Absolute value So that is the formula of our directrix. So the distance of the distance d of directrix from its corresponding focus uh, is given by d equal to b square over c, and that would also equal to the absolute val value. Ah, uh, space b. Absolute value. Space. 
panel. Okay, so the distance of the electric from corresponding focus is given by D is equal to B square over C. And that would also equal to the absolute value of A over E minus 2AE. Okay, next. Next to that is the this one while the distance of a focus from the center um, is C equal to AE um, the distance of a directrix from the center is a over E okay equal to A square over C so mona si ay distance uh, of focus from the center uh, formula so focus to the center as focus from center that is A times E and the distance of directrix from the center is a over e and that would, would also equal to uh, a square minus c okay so next uh, let's proceed to the eccentricity eccentricity uh, of a conic describes its shape okay E is uh, approximately this should be approximately uh, E nita to approximate nga ko na approximate equal this one uh, approx so this should be okay this should be e approximately zero See how it is. E approximate zero. Okay. So E approximate zero. No. If conic is almost uh, almost a circle. Okay. Next. E is uh, zero tau na zero uh, e tapos one if the e is in between as we remember um or should i say e is an approximate one so almost one um, let's copy this one okay and here change this one so if the e almost one or approximate one that is very thin ellipse so a very thin ellipse so yeah while if the e is equal to one exactly one that should be parabola as we can remember earlier, di ba kani? Na part. A uh, parabola if e is equal to one, an ellipse is uh, in uh, zero to one, or should I say, greater than zero but lesser than one, so that would ellipse. Then hyperbola is more than one. And look at this. If the e is almost zero, then the conic is almost a circle. So meaning, if the e is zero, then that would be a circle. 
So if the E is in between, or should I say more than 0 and lesser than 1, and E almost 1, that is a very thin ellipse. Now if the E is equal to 1, then that is uh, parabola. While, uh, let's proceed to the next one. Na nata sa sunod na uh, page. Kaya ito an. Lapas na ta. If the E is greater than 1 and E almost 1, so meaning wala pa kayo ni layo. Um, let's have like this. Okay. So wala pa kayo ni layo sa 1. Almost 1 pa siya. Pero it's greater than 1. So, 1.1, uh, 1.01, di ba? So, meaning, uh, this is a very thin. Okay, very thin. Hyperbola. Okay. Now, if the E is greater than, uh, if E is very large, anaw na lang na to, if the E uh, very large, then this is a very wide uh, hyperbola okay so mona siya if very thin then that is uh, if the e is almost one but it's greater than one then it's a very thin hyperbola and if it's very large then th that would be a wide hyperbola now let's, I think, let's have some example. Um, take note guys, before we go on example. If we can see the formula. If I gonna ask you, what are the, the formatting, or should I say, what can you observe in the, the formula in which parabola up until to hyperbola is or should I say something in common uh, that would be the square guys so all of them has a square diba? they have a, a second degree or power of 2 diba? so let's have some example number 1 guys <coughs> okay, number 1 example so let's have exercise Number one, so determine um, the graph of the given equation. Okay, so 25x squared um, plus y squared minus 100x plus 6y plus 84 if you can see nata general form siya now if we going to uh, the, the question will ask, ask us about to determine the graph of the given equation so ato lang siyang i-determine ang graph ani kung unsa man siya unsa ni nga klase nga conic dayon atong i-locate ang center Diba kay very very kanang pinakadali nga buhaton nato hindi mag 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 determine ta og graph kay aside sa visualizing diba if in in visualizing the the certain equation we try to create a graph then if we try to create the graph the very uh, first thing that we can have is the center diba or the vertex if we are talking about parabola and if we're talking about ellipse and hyperbola then that would be the center now kining number one as we can see kung ato naka standard form siya now if we try to uh, to to answer this so kung nakainom doon pa mo on how to uh, to check di ba Kung atong mahinong duman, parabola, kay ang usara niya ang naka-square. So, since here, x and y are both naka-square. So, meaning, dili na nang siya parabola. So, meaning, it's either um, ellipse or hyperbola ni siya. Now, unsa gayto ilhanan sa ellipse and unsa po ilhanan sa 
uh, hyperbola of course the formula itself di ba plus ang um, ang ellipse while the hyperbola is um subtraction or minus so let's try to to rearrange this and after that we try to simplify and we try to to know the center of this uh, equation so 25 ang atong buhaton is to make this one into standard form so meaning we're going to arrange a group na to ang both x's and both y's and then the constant would be on the other side so solution this would become the pakita ang problem itself okay okay ka uh, solution 25 x square atong itapad siya sa 100 x then after that ito siya i-grupo so meaning uh, ang dua ka x's ito siya i-grupo then don't worry kaya naman siya ay operation na minus so this would be Oh no, not minus, it's plus, di ba? Plus man ang y square. So, this would be y square. Okay. Before na to siya isod o box, guys, we need to to complete sa para delete na masayo, especially if we're dealing with hyperbola. Okay, y square, then plus 6y. Di ba? And 84. Now, if you can see, if I'm going to put it on a box, wala rin ma-change. Nga naman, okay? they are positive. Di ba? Since positive ang gawa sa y square, so di wala rin ma-outro. Positive times 6y, it's positive 6y. Di ang ma-outro. Okay. So, since we're dealing with addition, so this would be an ellipse. Now, we're pretty sure that this one is ellipse. Ang ato na lang itad ang next na tong kwaon is the center. Then we have the graph now. We can determine the graph. Diba? So again, what's the name of the conic? Then the center of that certain conic. Para ma answer na to ning exercise number one. Now let's proceed to the solution. Let's continue rather. So as uh, you remember, diba? we make the the square one or the x square become uh, we we factor out the numerical coefficient kana 25 tang tango na nato sabi ni saya pa so uh, since 25 and 100 are both divisible by 25 diba so 25 atong igawas that would become x square sa sulod na lang diba then 100 divided 25 that would be 4x or should I say 4 then na may variable na x so we're going to put that one for x so if we're going to um, distribute 25 times x square that would be 25 x square 25 times negative 4x that would be negative 100x so again the, uh, the upper one will be equal to the lower one Next, since y square is already in the simplest form, wala siya numerical coefficient, then go with the flow. Or should I say just copy? Diba? Okay. So right now, if you can remember guys, kung nang hinumduman ni mo, ninyo, ako ipakita sa cellphone na kung ang ellipse, ang standard form sa ellipse ing ani man, diba? Um, ang ellipse kay magdepende ang a square kung kinsay dako nga denominator, di ba? Pero ako lang mong pa hinumduman, look at this one, ang ang ellipse should be like this, x minus h or the quantity of x minus x minus h that being powered by 2 uh, plus um, the quantity of y minus k that being powered by 2 equal to 1. The a square and b square, it depends on nagdepende siya kung asay dako nga denominator. So, I might be changing that denominator later on. ba? If you can remember. 
so let's proceed to or let's continue to our solution okay. so natangtang na nato ang 25 nga numerical coefficient so what's next uh, we going to make that format into the format nga naa sa inyong ibabaw kanang sa ellipse now if we can see the ellipse guys it's um, binomial square and we can see we have binomial lang wala square so therefore we going to make that one into binomial square but before we going to before we can achieve the what we call binomial square that binomial should become perfect trinomials so that we can make that one into binomial square so unsay bay buhaton nato uh, just bear with me and i know kay baw na mo kay gitudloan mo na ko ani i mean gi yeah gitudloan gi ki pakita so this is x square minus 4x kung kay baw ko kung mutan ang ani kay baw ko madungog na ko yung tingog kung unsay sunod okay this should become positive uh, 2 square that should be 4 square i mean 4 diba okay plus here y square plus 6y 6 divide 2 that's 3 3 square that's 9 so this would be 9 okay very good 84 now as what I mentioned or should I say uh, as what we've learned we have learned in this in this topic before what we did on the left side we're going to make it as well on the right side so we add 4 and we add 9 so we're going to add 4 and 9 to the right side and please don't forget the 25 guys since uh, this constant 4 here we added 4 but there is a multiplier 25 so meaning apil gya na so 4 times 25 that should be 100 diba then we add 9 okay so the the constant on the other side would become 84 plus 100 plus 9 so right now we can simplify this one so just copy 25 and this would become binomial square and this would become x minus 2 right that being powered by 2 plus next the y um, this should become negative 3 negative 3 because ne no no it's positive 3 ok because plus 3 yes ok so we are we have binomial square na diba unlike, unlike earlier we just have binomial not binomial square so right now we have binomial square na so the constant would be 100 plus 84 plus 9 that should be 193 are we sure of this wait okay mm -hmm. okay Oh, I see. The 84, since it is positive, guys. I'm sorry. If we go, we put the other side. This, this, this 84. It's positive 84. The original one. Then this, this should be negative 94. 84. So negative 84. Nas yeah. So we have 109 minus 84. So let's have calculator though. Calc. <coughs> calculator so 84 minus 109 or should I say 109 minus 84 so we have 25 okay 25 the next since the original formula as you can see that that constant there in the right side should be equal to 1 so therefore we're going to divide both sides or each of the term 
uh, by 25 so that our constant will become 25 I mean 1 diba? so just imagine these uh, these should be I mean this should be divided into 25 this this should be divided into 25 and this should be divided into 25 so we can have we can cancel out 25 in the first term right so we just have x minus 2 um, that being powered by 2 plus uh, let me put it in the equation form so that you will be able to to see the big picture on this one or the better picture on this one so this would become x minus 2 and x minus 2 okay and the uh, other the denominator should be 1 because 25 divide 25 that would be 1 right so plus next would be um, y plus 3 1 y plus 3 okay y plus 3 okay power by 2 should be 25 diba? I divide both both terms or all the terms into 25 and 25 divide 1 should be 1 25 divide 25 rather should be 1 so right now we have this okay so we have the quantity of x minus 2 that being powered by 2 divided or all over 1 plus the quantity of y plus 3 that being powered by 2 all over 25 equal to 1 so right now we can see we can say that our a square should be on the or under on the y so I should change this one and it will become like this okay so okay so that would be our uh, standard formula for the ellipse on this particular example and as we can see our center center it's in the positive 2 and negative 3 that is the center of our um, our equation or our, our ellipse so we able to we are able to answer the question number one Okay now. So if you have any question to this example, then just comment there. Now let's proceed to exercise number two, guys. Exercise number two. Diba? So exercise number two would be like this. Determining the eccentricity. Eccentricity of the conic with equation with equation say equation niya twenty five same earlier plus eighty four this one okay this should be okay this is zero all right, 25 x squared plus y squared minus 100 x plus 6 y plus 84 is equal to zero. So determine the eccentricity. As we remember, on say for formula ganin sa eccentricity, e is equal to c over a. Diba? It's c over a. Now we need we we just need to have the I'm sorry. We just need to have the the value of c. In the value of a, and as we remember, if we're um, since we know we knew it already that this is uh, this was an ellipse, or should I say this is an ellipse? Um, we just have, or we just try to to locate the 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 c and a 
which are um, the, dis the distance from the vertex or should I say the center to the focus and the distance from center to uh, direct oh no not direct the vertex diba? the vertex or the vertices okay so respectively so we're going to to find the C and A so we can we can continue the the, the last part that we did here so since we know that the this would be the um, the A so 25 that would be the A square and 1 would be the B square so we can just continue here um, C square solution okay C C square is C square is 25 no 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 it's A square A square is 25 okay while uh, B square is 1 so therefore uh, so uh, A is equal to 5 because if we try to square the 25 that would become 5 and while B is equal to 1 right? so what we need to have or what we need to find here is the value of C and if you can remember the, the, the formula of ellipse guys if we try to find the, the C that would be A square is equal to B square plus C square right? unlike the formula of, of hyperbola if we try to find the, the value of the distance because it's uh, way different from this particular formula Dere kay a square ang una then equal to b square plus c square if we're dealing with hyperbola if you remember that would be c square is equal to a square plus b square so let's continue here since we're dealing with an, an ellipse so a square should be um, 25 equal to b square 1 plus c square we don't know yet now uh, just continue your solution we can have 25 equal no uh, we're going to put the one to the other side so that we can isolate the c so 25 minus 1 that should be 24 later on we will try to put 24 here we have 25 minus 1 that should be 24 now c square um how to cancel a, a square uh, we're going to square both side so c should be so what is the square root of 24? Let me see. Um, if I'm going to say 4, um, 6, 12. So, so meaning 4 and 6. So that should be 2 square root of 6. 2 square root of 6. How's that square root of that? Uh, let me... Object formula square root square root square root square root let me find a square root thing here here ok 6 and 2 square root of 6 ok so because 4 times 6, 6, 12, 24, so 2 square root of 6, 2 times 3, okay. So 2 square root of 6, that would be your C, diba? Okay, so let's go back to the original problem. The problem will ask us about the E or the eccentricity, it's C over A. So if E is equal to C over A, therefore this would be this would be um, 2 square root of 6 over 5 you know? there's my mouse here ok ok let me have some object here ok this is the C first Oh, where 
where is that thing? Asa man itong square ito eh Function ba? 2 square of 6 Over ang, ang A is The A is 5 Okay Wala Matubang na na ito ang pangutana So, the eccentricity of this problem, of this particular ellipse, is 2 squared of 6 over 5. Okay? So, natumbal na nato ang certain problem. Now, let's try to have an activity since uh, taas na kahit ang na-discuss, no? Duha na itong example, pero taas-taas na dyan na nga itong Uh, tong gi, gi tabi. So this would be your activity number 5 Guys So activity number 5 Adere Okay So you're going to identify The graph So Test 1 Ah, dili lang na ito ikon, doon. O sa lang ka ko. So, identify the graph of the given uh, second degree equation. Don't mind the second degree. It's just the, 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 the what I mentioned earlier. Uh, X squared, Y squared. Um, mauna siya ang mga conic, guys. So, identify the graph of the given conic, di ba? Or, degenerate conic. Now, if it is conic, give its eccentricity. So, muna yung sumpay. If it's, if it is a conic, um, give its eccentricity. Just, just understand the problem is parabola eccentricity is one. Number two, ellipse ellipse eccentricity. Kanaon na to. This is more ni siya pabaliktad ang style. Now. Ang pangutan na is identify the graph. So, unsa gay ito pag identify the graph? Unsa gay answer kung identify the graph? So, you should have the what we call center, di ba? Center of the uh, that certain graph of the given second degree equation. Now, let's continue the problem. Unya na nato i kuan. Okay. Oh. Insert an object formula and this one and then mm, operators no functions this one okay Okay, square root of 5 over 3. Okay, so that is number 2. Number 3, hyperbola. In which eccentricity is eccentricity, double C. square root of 5 insert an object again proceed to function here that is 
Okay, so that is your number three, and then your number four is certain. Diba? I will tell him this is a circle as you remember. Uh, zero. Okay, sign na kayo na number four. Number five. Two intersecting lines. So this is not a conic, right? This is an intersecting line. So if this would be the question, then you identify the graph mm -hmm. so you're going to sketch this one or you just describe this one if you want of course you're going to graph para ma visualize <clears throat> x plus 1 equal to positive negative insert a shape object positive negative this should be 3 uh, no mm, y plus 3 ok sumpay na siya guys ha x plus 3 equal to atong sumpay yan de x plus 1 ok Number six, the empty set, no graph. And number seven, hyperbola is centricity. Okay, this is hyperbola, then the eccentricity. Hyperbola. Next, number 8. This is na po ra nita pangutana. The single point um, 0 and negative 1 over 2. If you remember the single point, guys, you graph a single point, Determ identify the graph. Number 9 the parallel lines x equal to 10 and x equal to negative 4 10 ellipse 10 eccentricity an object and this one and function square root uh, 3 over 2 okay oh, diba? so you have your 10 um, activity number 4 there are 10 questions here basically it's one uh, one test only but there are 10 uh, questions so again the, the instruction is you're going to identify the graph of the given second degree equation okay if it is a conic give its eccentricity but since uh, I already put the eccentricity there the, the eccentricity that, that that might mention there or that mentioned there is the formula diba? if you're going to, uh, to 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 have the formula 
of the eccentricity then you can identify that that one should be the C that one should be the A as what we discussed earlier and don't forget the different kind of of should I say uh, formula for eccentricity and uh, the thing that we can um, should I say about the eccentricity if that eccentricity is equal to 1 if that eccentricity is equal to uh, more than 1 so you know you knew it already then here is to identify the graph okay you might want to write a graph or just describe a graph the the very important thing the center of that particular conic okay so you have 10 questions there so just pass it this coming Friday the deadline rather you may pass your activity number 4 on or before December 4 so I hope na okay ramo <laughs> don't worry ang ato ang sunod nga topic very sayon ba systems of nonlinear equations <laughs> sayon na sunod <laughs> kita sayon na na siya lagi ikabalaka walang pasabtog ka here is intricity na itong gisgutan, the, the foci, the large foci, the large vertices. Okay. So, hopeful, hopefully, ma-suwat ninyo. Number one, guys. Itong taga-example. Parabola is intricity one. Diba? As we remember, if the is intricity, that's C over A. So just think any number, diba? Now if eccentricity the parabola asa man iya hang h and k ana, what do you think? Unsay h and k niya? Okay, so di na lang nato panan karon dili mo ka para ten yud. So again, naiya po plus twenty, of course. Morom juna yung di anhi diba? So, ang plus 20, um, atong ibahon para sabi pa lang parehas, parehas na. Fun. Kung sa'y colors akong sinina. Okay. Ang colors akong sinina. Kasi makatubag din. Money na plus 20. Karun ha? Karun. Kini. Si color ani. Again, see you next uh, week or next meeting for the system of nonlinear equations.